how to start your own profitable part-time weight loss coaching and fitness business with three proven steps. Hi, welcome. My name's Eric Simpson, and I'm absolutely delighted to be with you here today. And that's for three specific reasons. First of all, I've got over 20 years experience of working in health and fitness, ranging from working with clients, teaching people to become physical training instructors, and also teaching people on the business side as well. So I've got a real passion for this sort of information, and I like to share it. It gives me a lot of joy, and it kind of re- it kind of re-energizes me when I do these sorts of things. And the second reason is, I know the information I'm going to be sharing with you today is the sort of information which, had I have been given when I first started out, could have probably saved me two, possibly three or more years in terms of getting to where I've got to today. So I really believe the information is valid. It's going to help you irrespective of whether or not we ever meet in person at all. So it's going to be valuable information. So make sure you've got your pen and your paper handy. And the third reason is if you're anything like me and you have a real passion for working with people, helping them to get some good results, not just through uh, teaching them about diet and exercise, but actually helping them to understand the whole pre- process mentally. So helping them to make some changes in their, you know, real lasting changes in their behaviour, their habits, you know, the way they value health, and really sort of get under the surface of what really, you know, what it really takes to help someone to lose weight. Then we may end up doing some sort of partnership, and, and I'll tell you more about that at the end. So it's kind of like a win-win situation all round. Uh, hopefully for both of us. Now, you may be wondering why I've said part-time and not full-time. You know, why am I not saying earn six figures or 10K a month? Well, here's the reality. In a business like this, where it's a service uh, and it can be perceived as being intangible, to go from zero in terms of income to earning good income is going to take some time. And if you are trying to dive into this full-time with no client base at all, no contacts, no nothing... The chances are you're going to struggle. Unless you've got a uh, a network of people just lined up, ready to work with you, it's going to take you some time. Now, granted, there are some exceptions to the rule where people do get started, and within a couple of weeks, they've got a full client load. But those sorts of cases are few and far between, and it certainly never happened that way for me. I had to build and develop. So I just want to make that really clear from the outset. So before we get into it, I just want to share with you three quick examples of people who have benefited from the information I'm going to be sharing with you. First of all, I'm going to show you three trainers who have had this information and then three clients who have actually benefited in terms of weight loss. Just so that you know, I am a real person. I'm not kind of a a made-up person. And the final thing I want to say is this. This is going to be a longer uh, presentation than you're possibly anticipating. You know, expect to be with me for anywhere around about 45 minutes to 50 minutes plus. And, And I do that deliberately and intentionally. And here's why. If I just give you the three proven steps straight away and say it's step one, two, and three, you'll have no context, no background, no real understanding as to my background as to how I arrived at those three steps. So by giving you some background, some context, (coughs) explaining my rationale, then when I do share the three steps with you, they'll make a lot more sense. (coughs) Excuse me. They'll allow you to be able to uh, think through what I've said, you know, validate it or not validate it. And really come to a decision as to whether or not you think this might be something you want to pursue either by yourself or indeed with me. So let's go to the first slide then. And on here I've got three trainers that I have personally worked with over the years. So starting on the left hand side, uh, Mark, his comment was it's a no brainer. And that was in relation to the system that I taught him. It was a no brainer for him. He was a fitness professional former studio owner in a place called Blanford Dorset, GB veteran triathlete, now living in Australia, and to the best of my knowledge, still running a fitness business. Now, that was my what I call my pilot feedback. He was the first person that I ever sort of was brave enough to sort of show somebody what I was doing and how I was getting the sort of results I was getting. And by the way, back then, the results were nowhere near as impressive as what they are now. And then in the middle, we've got Luan, uh, 330 pounds per week after five months, Luana PT. Now, just to be clear, she wasn't putting 330 pounds in her pocket. She was generating that as an income. And I was obviously taking some of that as a percentage as she was working for me. But what she said about the, uh, the three steps was this. After finishing my personal training course, I didn't have any real idea about how to get clients. And this is pretty common across the board for most fitness professionals. This has been excellent and I feel so much more confident. And then on the far right, 
uh, 800 pounds per week after 10 weeks Kerry when Kerry came to me Kerry was 21 22 inexperienced probably I think it was about maybe six maybe eight weeks out of personal training school and he was able to generate 800 pounds per week and again just for clarity he wasn't putting 800 pound uh, per week in his pocket he was taking probably a little a little under 50 percent of that so for 10 weeks that wasn't bad and he was earning that money not because he was a fantastic amazing brilliant uh, ripped kind of enthusiastic personal trainer and he might say well he is all of those things but it was because he had a system which I'm going to be showing you what those three-step systems are when we go through this presentation but what he said was this selling three six and twelve month programs takes all the pressure and stress out of things and peace of mind you can work with clients so in other words what he's saying was once you got a client you knew you had them for at least three minimum months and up to 12 months and when you've got that kind of time laid out in front of you as a coach and trainer helping someone to lose weight it's way 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 better than the old redundant model of trying to sell blocks of 10 sessions and blocks of 20 sessions which you know I personally stopped doing over 20 years ago so there's just three examples of people who have benefited from the information I'm going to be sharing with you today what about actual real-life clients who are trying to lose weight does it work for them well, on the left-hand side, you've got Caroline, lost 85 pounds, dropped down 25% in body fat, went down from a close, a close size 22 down to a 12, and there's a before and after. And there's a picture of her and I below uh, eating a bit of, I don't know, cookies or something after a Race for Life event that she did, something that she never dreamt she'd be able to do. In the middle, you've got Sue, lost 71 pounds, went down 15% in body fat, dropped down from a size 20 to a 12, and that's me and Sue there at a, uh, an actual photo shoot that we did, something we do for all of our clients. And then KT lost 42 pounds, dropped 20% body fat, went down from a size 12 down to a size 8. And again, that's KT and I doing a, a, an exercise, albeit a staged exercise, because again, that was part of her photo shoot. Now, why do I show you those people? I show you them just so you know that I am a real person. I'm not kind of making this stuff up. This isn't out of a textbook. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you over the next uh, 50 minutes or so is information which I've actually tried, tested and used. Um, I, I haven't always got it right, but the things I'm going to be sharing with you today are the things that I have got right. And I may even share some of the things that I got wrong as well. Now, 50 minutes to an hour is quite a long period of time. So what I'd like to do now, because I'm respectful of your time, I just want to make sure you're in the right place and this is actually for you. So this, So who is this for? So people who want to help people lose weight and improve their fitness and health. So if you haven't got that fundamental desire, then obviously you're in the wrong place. People who want to work one-to-one -one with clients at their homes, so the client's homes, in a commercial gym uh, or a private gym, of which I have done all three of those. You have 10 to 20 hours available each week to work with clients. Now, you're going to need that realistically because anything less than that, you're not really going to get any traction. And if you ever decided to go full time with this, you're going to need to have at least, in my opinion, uh, at least 10 hours under your belt, you know, a week working with clients. You know, it depends on your financial situation. You want to build a business that generates predictable, stable and profitable monthly income. And those three things are critical, especially if you are uh, a key breadwinner in the house or you are contributing significantly to the household income then it's important that you have that predictability stability and profitability each month you want help and guidance getting started building and growing your business into the future you have a good work ethic that would go without saying hopefully and you're coachable so who this is not for people who want the next get rich quick scheme that's definitely not this people who are not coachable uh, people who are just seeking to gather more information and do nothing with it. And I'm amazed often how people do that, just gather information and never actually do anything with it. And I have been guilty of that myself in the past, so you know, I'm not going to be too critical of people for doing that. Uh, people who are not serious about taking control and responsibility for their own thinking, actions and results. And you know, what I've just said there is the very same statement I could be using if I was working with a weight loss client. You know, the mindset side of losing weight, building your own successful profitable weight loss coaching business is pretty much the same now in the next 45 minutes we'll cover the following the three killer myths around starting a profitable weight loss coaching and fitness business 
The three steps to building your successful, profitable, local weight loss coaching and fitness business. So this is local, working face to face with people and your options going forwards. Basically, everything you need to start your own profitable part time weight loss coaching and fitness business. Now, some house rules for today's presentation. First of all, keep an open mind, please. You know, it's absolutely no good sort of sitting there saying, I know that, I know that, I know that, because if you've got that sort of a mindset, then really what I'm about to share with you will not resonate, will not sink in with you, or not have the opportunity to resonate with you because your mind will be closed off to it. Now, my case studies results are not typical, so the people I've shown you previously and some more that I'll share as I go through the presentation, these are not typical results. The people you're about to or going to hear about are committed people who put in the effort and did the work. The results you get are entirely up to you, and that kind of goes without saying. Now, let's just talk a little bit about what people have tried to start a weight loss fitness uh, business in the past. So people have gone down the personal training route, and often what happens is they maybe start off with the intention of working in weight loss, but they end up working mum, you know, working with mums, athletes, executives, brides, doing rehab. They end up kind of spreading their focus across many, many different areas, and I'll explain why that's maybe not such a great idea. They'll get involved in selling uh, products, you know, Herbal Life, things like USANA, Lean Greens, uh, as, as a side hustle, as they like to call it, to supplement their income. They'll start running boot camps, you know, early morning, mums only, men only, women only. And some may even dabble and venture into personal, you know, online training, which some people do. And some people have done that incredibly successfully. But all I would say about that is, if you think it might be a challenge to work offline with people, I can tell you now from experience and having spoken to people that do online PT, it's even more challenging online, in my opinion, because people are relying upon kind of trusting what they see online and people don't always post things that are 100% accurate. If people are meeting you face to face, they get to eyeball you and you get more of a sense about somebody when you meet them face to face. And then people try more courses, you know, if they're not succeeding at what they're doing, they feel as though they need to go and do maybe an advanced nutrition, kettlebell course, NLP, but basically anything advanced, you fill in the blank that they think is going to help them to become successful in this market of weight loss and fitness. And when you think about it, the market is huge and no pun intended there, but the market's growing. There are a lot of people out there that need our help to help them lose weight, make you know changes in the lifestyle. So, you know, why is it people really struggle to make a real impact in this marketplace when you just have to look out of your window, you know, if you're at work and you work in the city somewhere and just see the number of people that are walking around that are really struggling with the weight. Here's why I think people struggle to make an impact in the weight loss market as coaching trainers. Too much jumping around, no focus. And if you're going to work in this sector, you have to focus on the, the person that you're trying to help. And I experienced back in 2007 a really tricky time when financially I was struggling because I was offering way too many services, way, way too many services, Pilates, tennis coaching, massage, boot camps. You know, I was that guy on this list offering everything. And whilst it kind of, you know, fed my ego a little bit, I felt as I was really good at all these different things, the reality was financially, it just wasn't making any sense and it was rather confusing for people when they were contacting me. They didn't know whether I was a, a personal trainer, whether I was a Pilates, weight loss, boot camper. They had no idea what I was and they knew I did something fitness wise but they couldn't always pin it down. So too much jumping around and no focus can lead to this next slide which is basically feeling exhausted you know, physically and mentally and that's certainly where I was getting to when I was trying to do all these different things. Feeling discouraged because you feel as though you know, you've got all these skills. I had all these skills and qualifications and thought, well, you know, why am I not getting more clients? Uh, no willpower to stick with it uh, because I was trying to stick with too many things. Destined to fail in business. You know, I had no business background and, you know, I looked at my bank account thinking, well, actually, there's more evidence that I'm no good, so I'm destined for failure. Feeling defeated. You know, coming home at night and just thinking, scratching my head, thinking, how? You know, why am I not getting the sort of uh, financial return? I've got all these qualifications and experience. Uh, I simply can't make it pay. Feeling frustrated and angry and giving up. Now, that's something I didn't do, fortunately, otherwise I wouldn't be here today. I kept going. Now, I was able to keep, go keep going because I was able to sort of tap into coaches who were able to advise me. Now, I want to cover the three killer myths around starting a profitable weight loss coaching and fitness business before we delve into what those three steps are, uh, those three proven steps. And here they are. 
and I was guilty of all these three, as I've already kind of alluded to and mentioned. Build it and they will come, you know. Get the qualifications, you know, wear the nice uniform, build the website, uh, tell a few family and friends, and they'll come banging your door down and your phone will be ringing off the hook. Absolutely, 100%, no way does it happen that way. I say, for some people, the odd one or two, there may be the exception to the case, and there normally is. But that is not the way it is for most people. I can tell you now, anywhere between... I think it's about 80 to 90% of people who qualified in the fitness sector to make it either a part-time or full-time profession within, uh, I think it's six to nine months, end up going back to doing what they did prior to qualifying. You know, the, the stats are horrendous, and you can check that out for yourself. Train and coach everyone. I was certainly doing that, spreading myself way too thin. Get more qualifications in fitness, diet, and mindset. Again, I was definitely guilty of doing that, thinking the more qualified I am, surely people are going to want to work with me. And that just simply did not work. And please don't fall into the same trap because it won't work for you either. So what if there were a proven way to build your own successful weight loss and fitness business and make all those negative things I've just mentioned go away? Would you be interested? Well, of course you would be. And thank you for bearing me up until this point. Let me just give you a very simplified slide of what those three things are before we do a deep dive into each and every one of them. So first of all, solve one key problem for one type of person. If you understand that from this presentation and nothing else at all, you are going to be heads and shoulders above any other fitness professional in your town, city, village, wherever you happen to be doing your work from. Solving one problem for one type of person is critical because for that one person, that problem is the problem that's keeping them awake at night, it's the problem that's affecting their self-confidence, it's the problem that's stopping them going out socialising, it's stopping them from applying for the job, it's stopping them looking for a partner. You would not believe the amount of pain that it causes people when they're carrying weight. Now you might think that's not logical, but this has got nothing to do with logic. This is all about emotion. So, solve one key problem for one type of person. Second, number two, know how to sell it. And we're gonna be diving into all these three. But if you don't know how to sell, then again, you've had it. And I'm not talking about selling in some sort of a sleazy way where you're using sales tactics and you're trying to pressure people and you're trying to make it scarce and doing special offers, all that kind of nonsense. Because the people that you are going to be working with potentially are intelligent people, people who've got uh, you know, good jobs, uh, good salaries, and discerning. And if you are trying to do some sort of sales number on them, you're going to get nowhere. They'll pick up on that and, and you'll end up failing and having no clients at all or very few clients. And then the third thing is to know how to market it. Because it's all good and well having all these fantastic skills, you know, having a great solution, knowing how to sell. But if you don't understand how to market, get your name out there, get your service out there, then again, you're going to find it very difficult and you're going to probably end up failing. So that is just a quick overview of the three steps that I'll be diving into in a moment in more detail. But here's the real challenge for people getting involved, I think, in becoming a weight loss coach and a fitness business owner. And it's this. Lack of knowledge, a lack of business knowledge, a lack of the things I'll be sharing in this presentation. And certainly I was that person that lacked a lot of stuff. A lack of focus, I've already mentioned, I was jumping around from one thing to another. And I know that many of the fitness professionals do exactly the same thing. Too many voices telling fitness professionals how to build a business from people who have never actually done it, but talk a good game. And there are lots of people out there who have gone on a course, maybe a business coaching course, or they've listened to a webinar like this and they've kind of tried to put two and two together and come up with 10 and then try and present that as a solution to other fitness professionals having never done it themselves. Now, don't misunderstand what I'm saying here. I'm not saying for one second if somebody hasn't built a fitness business or built any business of any description that they couldn't help you because clearly if they've got business skills and knowledge, they can. But those people are few and far between. The vast majority that I've come across don't fall into that category. They're just people who simply are regurgitating what somebody's told them and they think, well, this would be good. The fitness industry is great. I can make some money out of that. You've got to be really careful. And then you've got the people that sell the actual fitness courses. They will tell you, you know, our course is the best on the market. Qualify with us and you'll get an interview guaranteed at, and you, name, you know, name any one of the health club chains that you can get an interview at. You know, look, health club chains 
their attrition rate for fitness professionals is incredibly high. You know, they know they can offer, you know, contracts which are not fantastic. And if the people don't like it there that are working as fitness professionals, be they personal trainers, gym instructors, whatever, they know they can get rid of them. And if they leave, it's no big deal because the sausage factory of course providers keeps churning out new people week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. <clears throat> so there's no shortage of fitness professionals. So gym chains really don't have to worry about can they get another gym instructor, personal trainer. Easy. Then you've got the people on the business side who are offering uh, fitness professionals how to do Facebook ads, Instagram, YouTube, you know, do all of this fantastic, wonderful stuff and get 50 new clients in 10 days. It's absolutely crazy the stuff that people are trying to teach fitness professionals to do that simply does not work in the real world. So the solution, learn a proven, simple, step-by-step -step system. Now, the step-by-step -step system will help you to do the following things. Attract the right people who are ready and willing to pay for your expertise over a three to 12 month period. You know, I mentioned earlier about predictable, stable, profitable. This is what you want. You're not looking at working with people for a block of five, a block of 10, a block of 20 sessions because that is not good enough. Imagine this for a second. You were to sell, and, and people still do this, a block of 10 PT sessions or a block of 10 fitness sessions of any description for, to do with weight loss. Somebody's seen you twice a week. You get to week five, their sessions come to an end, they've just had a weigh-in, and guess what? That particular week, they've gained a couple of pounds. What kind of conversation are you having in that situation right there? You're trying to sell another block of 10, they've just gained two pounds. That ain't an easy conversation to be having. Versus knowing you've got somebody for three to 12 months, you can treat that as just a blip. And again, if you're selling blocks of 10, imagine having 10 clients that all do the same. That's 10 rather difficult conversations you have to have that week. You do not want to be putting yourself in that situation. The second thing, it'll provide you with a sales system that allows the person to buy rather than feel as though they've been sold to. People simply do not want to feel as though they've been sold to. The second they feel they've been sold to, they'll run a mile. You know, People want to be informed, educated, guided, and then they want to make a decision based on what they've heard, not because you are trying to put pressure on them using some ridiculous tactics or trying to you know, close them on the deal. That's not how people operate when you're working with them on a one-to-one, -one. especially over a three to 12 month period. It's just not the way to do business. Even as a one-off, it's not the way to do business in my opinion. Three more things that will help you with. Organize your clients around your lifestyle and working preferences and not theirs. You know, so many times I've seen trainers who have been stood in the gym when I used to work in commercial gyms and clients have stood there basically dictating to the trainer exactly when, what days they're going to be seeing them. Then they want to change the days and the times and it becomes an absolute working nightmare for the trainer. And sometimes that's enough of a reason to give this profession up because you know, instead of seeing somebody um, over six weeks because of cancel, the move sessions, you could be seeing them for potentially three months. Imagine what that does. They're meant to be with you for six weeks. You're now seeing them for 12 weeks. You've just half your hourly rate effectively. So not a good thing. It will allow you to take holidays without worrying about having any clients when you get back. Now, I const you know, I take holidays. I take Christmas off a couple of weeks at a time. I take uh, summer holidays, bank holidays. And that wasn't always the case, you know, when I first started out, I felt as though I had to be there all the time because, you know, I had to be there for my clients. Well, you know, clients understand and actually want you to take a holiday because they want to know that you are well rested uh, and getting some downtime uh, and not just at it all of the time. Because, you know, actually, if you're at it all the time, you've got to kind of question, well, how successful are you if you happen to work all the hours that God sends? Then the third thing, of course, is provides a predictable, stable and profitable monthly income. Again, you know, I know so many trainers and I've been in this position myself, feast or famine. One month you've sold, you know, five lots of blocks of 10 sessions. It's fantastic. The next month you only sell three or four and the ones that you had have dropped off. So one month you've got great income. The next month it comes plummeting down. And if you are responsible for things in the house or you're contributing to the household budget, that is just not acceptable and it will drive you mad. It will cause you stress and you'll end up probably giving up and thinking this isn't a real job. Uh, I have to go and find something else. So before we dive into the uh, the steps, I've got a few more things to cover off before we get into them. And the first one is, you know, well, who am I? I've been talking for a little while now, uh, a little getting on for 20 odd minutes. 
you may be thinking, well, who the heck is this guy, Eric Simpson, anyway? Well, I'm just going to go around these pictures from top left in a anti-clockwise direction, just to give you kind of like a timeline as to what I've done and where I currently am, and I'll sort of give you a bit of a description also. So starting off on the left-hand side, the Hampshire Chronicle, that was me pictured with a lady called Carolyn uh, down in Winchester when I used to do home visits. So, you know, I did start my business off while I was in the military. I was doing it part-time and I was working with clients in their homes and that was a story they did on us in the Hampshire Chronicle. I forget exactly what it was about, to be honest, but we got featured in the Hampshire Chronicle. Then after a period of time, I started working in commercial gyms. So that's the second picture down, me working with a lady called Fiona uh, from a commercial gym. And then the bottom left is me then working in a corporate setting. Uh, this is DSTL. And I was offering weight loss coaching in the corporate environment. And I was pictured there with a nurse called Bridget. Uh, moving along, bottom middle, that's me in my own private gym now, where I've sort of moved on a few more years. And I'm working with clients on a one-to-one. -one. That's working with a guy called, he was affectionately known as Mr. Pink. Uh, his name's Paul. Um, he and I, and he, he went to an intensive program and got some great results with me. But that's me in my private gym. And then next to that, we've got me and the lady called Marie. Uh, again, me operating from a private gym. Again, she did incredibly well. Took off over four stone. Uh, Mum of 53 kids and managed to get herself a nice little six-pack uh, to go along with it as well. And the diagram there is of my current gym at the time of this recording. And you can see that's not a huge space. It's just over 500 square feet. And if I told you the equipment that I have in my gym is like minimal, uh, it would cost you probably under 5K. If you are thinking about going down the um, studio route, it's not expensive. And then right smack bang in the middle, that's a picture of me with a bunch of clients having a celebratory drink on New Year's Day, believe it or not. So every New Year's at 10 o'clock, I do a kind of like doffing the cap to New Year. Uh, invite a few clients in and we do like a, 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 a fun workout and we have a, a smoothie shake at the end a shake that none of them normally like they normally spit it out they're smiling there but actually you want to see the faces after they've drunk it so i say my name is eric simpson i'm a proven weight loss fitness and business coach i've created my own weight loss and fitness system after combining my years spent as an army physical training instructor uh, I, i've done a lot of research into it as part of my degree course i wrote a, a pretty extensive uh, piece of research an essay on weight loss, looking into what it was that helped people to start, you know, what was the learning process. Also looking into why people struggle and most importantly, how is it that people are able to sustain it. So I took, you know, I took some time out and really researched this stuff. I've had training in cognitive behaviour therapy, uh, NLP, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming, just in case you don't know what that stands for. Nutrition and a certified adult educator and personal trainer. The system I've created worked so well, it helped one lady become a fitness model, aged 47, beating girls 15 years her junior. One person lost eight stone, one pound in 12 weeks with the system. And I was able to pay a staff member, and this is relating to the chap earlier, Carey, above the national average wage for four years. And I think I was paying him anywhere between 22 and about 28,000 uh, pounds per year for doing roughly about 20 hours a week. So that's not bad income for somebody... Um, working those sorts of hours. Now, let's just very quickly talk about the different locations that you might find yourself working in. Uh, and we are getting to those three steps, so you know, bear with it, we're getting there. Again, I'm just trying to provide the background and some context to make it easy for you to sort of get benefit from these three proven steps. So the locations that you could potentially work from are home visits, and I've worked in all these three, by the way. Home visits, I put low risk, because in terms of equipment, you need equipment, you know, bands, boxing gloves, some kettlebells, not a lot of stuff, and a vehicle to transport them in. Uh, you've got the privacy, because you're working in somebody's house. Uh, a little bit more travel, typically I would allow 30 minutes uh, at the furthest point from one client to another. Um, you have to do the marketing yourself, obviously. And income is level three, which I think is the lowest. And I put number three. It doesn't have to be, but the reason I put that in there at number three is because there's more downtime. So if you're traveling uh, to three or four clients and it's half an hour to get to each, that's time you're not generating an income. So that's why I put it as a number three. Commercial gym, low risk, although normally you have to pay some sort of income to work from that gym, which I think is good. Some trainers do complain, but I think it's good. Uh, no privacy, you're working in a public space. Normally there's not a private area. There might be in some gyms, but generally there's no privacy. So you're working with people in the public arena. And people generally don't mind that if they've signed up for a gym membership. You know, it's quite normal to see people working with trainers in a commercial gym setting. No travelling. 
So it means you know you can see a client, and five minutes later you can see another one. So the downtime is minimal, which means uh, your income is going to be better. Some marketing required. You know the gym will obviously market its facility, which is great to bring people in. But you'll have to do some internal marketing as well. Typically, you'll get a notice board, and you'll be up there amongst other trainers as well. Income level number two, as I say, because you've got less downtime, therefore you've got greater earning potential because you can do more hours throughout the day. And then you've got a private gym. I put high risk, and it's only high risk really if you don't know what you're doing. So these three proven steps, if you know what they are, it then becomes, in my opinion, low risk as well because you know what you're doing. You've got privacy, no travel. You do the marketing and the income, I believe, is the best. And I think it's the best because people typically want to pay a premium when they're going to come to a facility and work one-to-one -one in private with somebody. And they expect to pay a little bit more as well. They'd be surprised if they didn't. Now, I'm not one of those guru types that just talks a good game. Uh, hopefully, I'm talking a reasonable game so far with no evidence to back up their claim. So I just want to go through some of the... Uh, financials now because it's important we've said about profitable uh, predictable and stable income so I, I, I've blotted up people's names here because I, I didn't want to sort of uh, you know for GDP I don't want to sort of divulge their names um, but here we've got one lady so she's paid in over the course of now it's important to understand this 27,488 pound two pence and that's a, a large amount of money that somebody's paid in for their health and fitness but that's not in one fell swoop. That's over six years. So averaged out over six years, that's 35241. Now, for me, I think that's a pretty good monthly amount of money to pay. And again, just think back to what I said earlier about providing a solution and not just selling blocks of 10 sessions. When you provide an actual solution for people, people are happy to pay for solutions. People don't want to pay for blocks of five, blocks of 10, blocks of 20 sessions. They want to pay for a solution. So that's just one example, and the system this is uh, shown on is a system called Sage, which you may or may not be familiar with. Let's go to another one. Uh, this one, less income, um, £2,313.84. That was over an eight-month period. It worked out at 257.84 per month. Uh, and final one, so yeah, I do work with guys as well. Uh, this is over the course of a year. £3,680 over the course of a year, which averaged out at £306 over 12 months, you know, per month. So you can see there's some reasonable figures, I think. And just imagine for a second, if you had, let's take the figures down to less than 306 let's go down to 299 or 250 even. If you had two or three clients paying you that sort of money per month, you know, with five clients, not bad income, 10 clients, you're on two and a half grand. And this is all totally doable when you apply these three proven steps okay so what is the proven three-step system to provide you with a predictable stable and profitable monthly income working part-time and helps clients get great results and I just want to say getting clients great results is like critical because if you're just out there selling sessions and people are not getting results you ain't gonna be around for too long you might start off well but it's not about uh, your knowledge in terms of uh, how to do a bicep curl or any of that sort of stuff. It's ultimately about how do you go about getting results. So let's uh, delve into it then. So the three steps of the system. Step number one, solve a problem for a particular type of person. I mentioned this earlier, so let's do a little deep dive into that. And it's made up of three parts of this. Part one, what problem do you want to solve? Well, we're in the weight loss sector. So it's about people feeling uncomfortable in their bodies are feeling unhealthy and, and they lack confidence in their own skin due to excess weight. You know, these are real issues that people have and they really affect people emotionally. You know, I've had clients say to me uh, they're worried about going to a pub, fear of sitting in a chair on a summer's day outdoors because A, they don't even get in the chair and B, they're worried if the chair is going to collapse on them. These are real things, uh, real problems that people have. Number two, who do you want to solve it for? Well, for me, and if you were to end up doing some work with me and we were to work together, we're looking at working with women and men aged 40 to 65. And you may be wondering why that age category. Well, those are the people that typically have got more of a an appreciation of, I'm not saying that people younger don't because they do, but when you get to that sort of age of 40, you start to look at what's going on with your body a little bit more. You're a little bit more reflective, a little bit more in tune with your body. And you can kind of see the writing on the wall if you don't take some action you know going forward so a fantastic age group to work with but I would just say I have worked with people younger than that as well 
And part three to this solver problem for a particular type of person is how are you going to solve it? And the way that I like to solve it is through coaching of mindset, diet and exercise following a proven system that enables a client to take ownership of their thoughts, feelings, actions and ultimately their own successes. Because back in the day, I was the guy that was writing out exercise plans, eating plans, the whole nine yards. And people would come back and say, oh, that's not working. I'd write out another plan. That's not I'd write another plan. And basically what was happening was people just weren't taking ownership of their own situation. So when I switched to incorporating a coaching model, I was handing over the reins to that individual. I was giving them the best advice I could give them, the best uh, tools, the support, the accountability, and obviously the training as well, the physical training side of things. But if they weren't prepared to put into practice when they weren't with them the things we discussed, they knew and do know it's their responsibility and they can't blame me for them not getting results. And that's something really important to understand because I say when I think back to my earlier days in this profession, I used to feel a little bit guilty that people weren't getting a result, taking the blame, the responsibility, when actually there's nothing you can do when somebody leaves your facility. So my take on it is this. A job of a coach and a trainer is not so much working with people when you've got them because when they're with you they're going to talk a good game themselves to a certain extent they're going to exercise well because you're working with them but the real skill of a coach and a trainer is to be able to affect that person's behavior when they walk out of the door if you can do that then you can class yourself as a good coach uh, in this in this area and the lady i'm showing there's a lady called sue sue uh, i think i showed her earlier lost five stone uh, one pound she ended up doing Race for Life, something again she would never have dreamt of doing. And she went on to do a Kilimanjaro challenge. So for people, it goes beyond just the aestheticness of wanting to look nice. You know, people want to take on some physical challenges. They want to do some adventures. But when they're carrying weight, it really does limit them in terms of what they can do. And that's why people are happy to invest good money with somebody that they believe can help them get a great result. Okay, number two, sell it. Uh, continuing the conversation they are having in their heads. What do I mean by that? When you put out your information, you need to put information out there that you believe people are already thinking about. So when they read it, they go, hang on, this person's in my head. So three parts to this as well. What message do you want to put in the marketplace? Critical. So again, once you understand your market, you put out a certain message. And I'm not going to delve into what our messages are here. Otherwise, this would go on to become a, a three hour webinar. Part two, what goal, what's your goal when you first make contact with you? you know, so when somebody makes contact with you, you know, what's the goal that you're trying to achieve? Now, the mistake that a lot of uh, inexperienced uh, newbie people make in the fitness sector is when somebody contacts them on the phone or face-to-face, -face, they go into talk, 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 sell, sell, sell mode, trying to sell their services in that first meeting. Completely the wrong thing to do in my experience. What I tend to do and what I've taught other people to do is ask the questions so that you can better qualify and understand if the person you're speaking to is even close to being a fit for what it is you do. If they are, whether that be on the phone or face to face, at that point you can explain if you think they're a fit very briefly how you operate, what some of the potential investment levels are, if that sounds like a fit for them based on what you've told them and what they've said to you and you think it's a fit, you can then invite them for a face-to-face -face meeting. And there you see me sat with Lady called Fiona doing exactly that, a face-to-face -face meeting. That's where you can delve in a little bit more and find out more about them. Part three to this is how are you going to present your solution? Just talking to somebody is not really the best way. You know, you may be speaking to somebody that's an, <clears throat> into, uh, they learn best by listening, you know, through audio. Uh, and that's great if they are, but what if you've got someone that's very visual and you're just talking? They're having to work hard to turn your verbal language into pictures. makes it difficult. So present your information visually, but it's not just about presenting some pretty pictures. It's about presenting an actual journey you can show people that they're going to be going on. Typically, I will show them a whole 12-month journey that if they end up working with me or one of my team, that they're going to be going on. So they can not only hear it, they can physically see where they're going. And when people can see and understand and make it look logical as well as get an emotional attachment to it, they're far more likely to buy into what it is you're saying. So visual is really important. And then the third and final step then, how are you going to market what you've got? And I would say when you're starting out as a part-time person, 
uh, unless you've got really, really deep pockets and you really understand marketing really, really well in this sector. It wants to be either no cost, low cost or word of mouth. That is how I'd recommend you start. Uh, and there are some more sophisticated things we can talk about, but that's how I would be starting off. So here are some examples of no cost. So top left or left hand side, you've got me giving a presentation uh, at a local health food shop. Now, you might argue and say, well, Eric, it's costing you time for being there. What's your hourly rate? You've got to factor that in. Well, OK, when I say no cost, physically having to put my hand in my pocket or, you know, extract money out of my bank account. That's what I mean about cost. When you're starting out, typically you've got no clients, <laughs> so you've got a lot of time on your hands. So try and, first of all, go for the lowest hanging fruit, the stuff that ain't going to cost you a lot of money or no money in this case. And I happened to link up with a local health food shop and they were more than happy to promote it because it brought footfall into their premises and it gave me an audience of people to speak to from which I would normally expect to convert. Let's say that's a room of 10 people. I might expect to get possibly a couple of those people that express an interest and maybe convert one or two of those into actual uh, fee paying clients that want to achieve a result. Then you've got low cost methods and I put a flyer on there and flyers are still relatively low cost. Yes, I know the return rate on them is not like massive. It's about 0.25 to 1% return, but it's a very uh, quick, low cost way of putting your name out in the marketplace. And understand this, you don't always get an immediate response from flyers. And one of the reasons you don't is because a fly can land on somebody's door and it can be on their notice board, pinned up there for months. The lady I showed you earlier that was in the Hampshire Chronicle, Carolyn, she kept my flyer on her notice board for three months before she contacted me. So don't underestimate the power of flyers in this world of everything seems to have gone Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. There's still a place for, you know, good old fashioned flyers going through letterboxes, believe you me. And then you've got word of mouth and that's me uh, at a networking event with local health and wellbeing practitioners. And again, great thing to do, connect with other health and wellbeing practitioners, especially those that are forward thinking and believe in a multi-interdisciplinary approach, a holistic approach. And a lady might not be able to work out there, but I'm just putting my arrow by there, a lady called Rianne. She's a local osteopath and she actually, ref well, she's referred a number of clients to me, but one I can think of in particular, we both work with her. She worked on this lady's hip. I helped her to lose over six stone. So, you know, th those sort of connections can bring you some word of mouth business. But what I would say is you shouldn't just rely upon word of mouth by itself because you can't actually control word of mouth. You know, it's something that's out there. It's great to have, but you can't actually control it. And then, of course, you've got online marketing methods, Facebook advertising, uh, organic posts on Facebook. Uh, you've got YouTube. You've got pay per click. There's lots of things. Email marketing. Your website, obviously, uh, would be an online marketing tool. So there are lots of online things you can do as well. But I've just picked out those top three because I think that's where you kind of start off and then you build the other things in, in my opinion. <clears throat> so if you don't build your business around those three steps, you will struggle and fail to achieve the levels of predictability, stability and profitability you want long term. I guarantee that. I've tried it and I've come perilously close to being the person that was going to be having to give it up and go and find a job just because I wasn't following those three simple steps. <clears throat> I've got a question for you. How will you do it? And really you've got two options I think for doing it. You've got DIY, you do it yourself. You read the books, you attend uh, presentations like this, you speak to friends, family members and you just search online and you try and piece it all together. You can do that but what I would say is it's the hardest way that you can do it. Especially if you've got no experience in business at all you're asking yourself to learn about program development. You're asking yourself to learn about how to attract clients, learn how to sell, learn how to keep clients and get you ask. It's a big ask to come from scratch to learn it all yourself. And that is why 80 to 90 percent of fitness professionals fail within six to nine months of qualifying because they go down this particular route of DIY. And at the end of it, they say things like, well, people just won't pay where I live. People just don't pay the money that, that people expect to be charging or now, it didn't work, you know, these people just don't get what I'm, I'm selling. And uh, there's a whole load of excuses that people come out with. And I actually used to have some of, the, some of those excuses myself until I screwed my head on properly. The second option you've got is get yourself a coach. And there are different types of coaches out there. You've got a general business coach. And a general business coach, believe you me, is better than no coach at all. Because at least they'll understand 
the basic principles around attraction of business clients. They'll understand sales. They'll understand marketing. The downside to working with a general business coach is this. There's a learning curve to learn about this sector and your particular sector. So there's going to be a lot of trial and error before they nail it down. So that can take you some time. You can work with somebody that's worked in the fitness space before, the health and fitness space. Maybe they've worked with chiropractors, doctors, dentists, so they understand the health and fitness market a little bit better than the general business coach. But still, there's going to be a learning curve for them to have to go through to understand your specific business. But there is another way, and obviously I'm going to be presenting that because that's going to be myself. And I'm not you know, hiding from that. Invest in coaching and training and learn from somebody who has helped others to do it. So again, I've got uh, Fiona there, I mentioned it earlier, I believe, when I was doing the face-to-face -face consultation in the commercial gym. Lost over, I think it's about 25 pounds, 30 pounds, that sort of a mark. Nice article in a, a nice glossy magazine. Uh, the, the topic was building the new me. And then we've got Kerry on the right-hand side, who I mentioned earlier. And again, just for clarity, so you understand, Kerry was working for me, but within 10 weeks, he was able to generate... 800 pounds worth of income that didn't all go in his pocket probably just under 50 percent he kept for himself he did that not because he was a super duper fantastic trainer he was fresh relatively fresh out of pt school i think six to eight weeks i think it was something like that <clears throat> didn't have any clients no experience at all but was able to generate that sort of income and is keeping clients at the time that he and i uh, stopped working together he now runs his own successful gym but he's keeping clients for like two three years and they were paying him good money every month, you know, two, three hundred pound a month. This is a guy that started at 21, 22 with no experience. So, investing in coaching and training is a proven shortcut to success. With well over 10,000 hours successfully coaching and training people into better health and business development, you can learn a thing, or you learn a thing or two, and there's a saying, success leaves clues. Well, I've documented those clues into a simple structured and supportive program that also provides accountability to anyone that is coachable and willing to put in the effort consistently for that person and that may or may not be you the results can be pretty amazing as you've already seen throughout this presentation and believe me when i say that there is a shortcut and an easier way and it's with coaching and training from somebody who has a proven system and has actually helped others to do it it's no different from helping somebody to lose weight they're looking for the same sort of thing. They want someone that's proven, got a system that they can get behind and believe in. It's going to be no difference from you looking to build your own profitable weight loss coaching and fitness business. Now, again, these are just some of the people that I've worked with because ultimately you have to get some results. So I feel fitter and it cured my acid reflux. Andy, 43 pounds lighter, 16% uh, dropped in body fat, waist size down from 36 to 32 and he was good enough to invite me to his wedding with himself and uh, Kim as a guest. And I was really honored to be there and you know, honored to know that I was there to help him feel absolutely fantastic. So it's not just about brides that want to feel great on the wedding day. You know, the grooms want to feel pretty good as well. And I was really honored to be there for that event. Uh, Kevin, I uh, just feel so much better about myself. 40 pounds lighter, 12.5% down, 39 waist down to 33. And Val. I reached my goal in 12 weeks and four years later, uh, I'm still there and it's not a fad. Val, 31 pounds lighter, 12% body fat down, 14 down to a 10 in terms of clothes size. And again, Val was one of these people who had tried different things before. So I'm going to go on matrix on you now as we bring this uh, presentation towards a close. Now you basically have two options at this point. You can either take the blue pill or the red pill. And Matrix, if you don't know, it's a film that was shot back in the, I think about 2000, starred a chap called Keanu Reeves, his character was Neo. And there's another guy called uh, Morpheus, played by an actor called Loris Fishburne. And basically, <clears throat> long story short, uh, Neo was born into this computer-generated world. Morpheus knew about it, and he offered Neo these two tablets. If he took the blue pill, he'd basically fall asleep, wake up the next day and forget everything that Morpheus had already shown him about the world he really lived in. If he took the red pill... He would then open his eyes up, take him down a rabbit hole and show him exactly what was what. So your situation then is if you take the blue pill, you can forget about everything you've just seen and heard. And you can continue your research into how to, you know, start your own profitable weight loss coaching and fitness business. And I wish you well in your search and you are welcome to do that. If you take the red pill, you can learn and use a proven step-by-step -step system from somebody who has actually done it. 
with real life trainers who have made real life money and with real life clients who have actually got real life results. And I guess that's what anybody would want from a coach, proof. Now, if you decide, if you take the red pill and decide to work with me, here's what you're in for in terms of results and speed. And I say speed and it sounds a bit sort of uh, hypey, but look, accelerated results happen when you have a coach. Roger Federer, tennis player, guess what? He has a coach. Tiger Woods, court golfer, guess what? Has a coach. And again, another example of a client there, uh, Marie had a coach, got some great results. But here's what's amazing to me. 95% of fitness professionals do not have a coach, yet they expect people to invest in them as a coach effectively. And to me, there's just an incongruency there. It just doesn't sit well with me. I have a coach myself, so I feel perfectly happy charging the amount of money I charge anyone that would like to get my services because I invest heavily myself and it just feels right when I'm asking the fees that I ask people to pay. So, rough timeline for clients and their results. You, for example. The three-step system is designed to get you trained up, launched and ready to start receiving calls all within, or with full support within five working days. Within five working days. So once you've gone through the training, three days after that, if not sooner, you'll be in a position where technically and train-wise and resources and everything else, you'll be able to start taking calls and working with clients. Here's how we start to build the foundations for your success so we can achieve that speed uh, and getting clients hopefully contacting you as soon as possible. But there's obviously never any guarantees to this, but this is what we put in place. Within the first week, you'll be promoting yourself within your local community. So quite literally within the first week, you're going to be out there putting stuff out there, quality materials. Within the second week, you'll have your personalized offline marketing plan assessed. So we'll take a look at what you're doing and what we need to tweak and what we can improve upon. Within the third week, you'll have an online social media marketing plan assessed. Again, any tweaks made there for you. Um, that's the third week, the social media. Within the fourth week, you'll have a full review of your day-to-day -day working and your systems because this is more than just about learning about um, how to do bicep curls and write programs and all that kind of stuff. It's how does your working week actually unfold because unless it's unfolding in a constructive, organized way where you can measure stuff, you're going to be lost and you're not going to get the results you want. So that has to be looked at as well. And that's just the first month. So you may be wondering what next? Well, if what I've been saying, if it sounds like an approach that would help you start, run and build a successful weight loss coaching and fitness business, if you think it can do that, then you know, let's talk. And over the next five days, I've set aside some time to talk to you to see if I can help. Um, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll speak on the phone for roughly 45 minutes. I'll ask a few questions to assess where you are and if I believe there's a, a potential fit. If I believe there is, I'll describe the system and you'll get to ask me some questions, including the various investment levels. Uh, please don't worry. There is nothing uh, to buy or sign up for on this call. There really isn't. You can't. If you, if you wanted to, you couldn't. Uh, if you both think there's a potential fit, we can then arrange to meet at my private gym uh, on Castle Street in Salisbury. And, you know, that, that's pretty much it. And again, who is this for? Just to recap, people who want to help people, got a real interest in helping people to lose weight and improve their fitness and health through not just fitness and nutrition, but all through, also through coaching as well. That's important to say because coaching plays a big, big, big part in people's success. And that's what I help other fitness professionals be able to deliver in their locations. People who want to work one to one with clients, either from the client's home in a commercial gym or a private gym. I've worked in all three of those, so I understand all those three arenas perfectly well. I've had success in all those three areas with clients in terms of results and financially. You have 10 to 20 hours available each week to work with clients. You're gonna need at least 10 hours because if you are contemplating taking this full time later on, you wanna feel as though you've got some traction, you've got some proof that you can do this. You want to build a business that generates a predictable, stable and profitable monthly income. You just don't want your figures going up and down, otherwise it becomes stressful and chances are you'll end up giving up anyway if, if, it, if you've got like that. You want help and guidance getting started, building and growing your business. You have a good work ethic and there's no substitute for that and you're coachable. So, 
here's where to go to apply uh, for that call. Uh, Loseweightgetfit.co.uk forward slash apply. If for some reason that link's not working, then please click the link below this video because sometimes technology does let you down and links break and all the rest of it. So there should be another link below. And I anticipate anywhere between 15 and 25 people will watch this presentation this week. And my schedule can only handle six calls over the next five days. And, and that's genuine. And that's because I run my own uh, weight loss coaching and fitness business. So I actually work with clients. So I've only got a limited amount of time. So if you're ready, I would recommend you apply now. Don't miss out on the opportunity. It's a phone call. It's roughly 45 minutes. It may take a little bit longer, but roughly 45 minutes. And if we both think at the end of that there's a fit, then we can take it to the next step. Thank you for being here today. I really appreciate you taking the time out. And I look forward to hopefully speaking to you at some point in the future. Thank you. Take care and bye for now.